All right, hello, welcome back. In this video, we will going to learn how to organize file using the project panel in Premiere Pro. All right, well, this is important because if you want to organize your project panel inside of the application, it will be easier to find your assets or your video files or footage uh, in that manner. All right, you know, we don't want to spend hours just to find a specific clip. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first we need to open Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so in this uh, example, we're gonna try to open Lesson 01 Editing. All right, now we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So now, to be sure that we are on the same page again, we need to make sure that you are on the editing workspace, all right, so that we can work together. So if you can find it again, you go to workspaces and go to editing, all right, window, workspace, and editing. Cool. Now also, please go to workspace and editing, reset the save layout to make sure that we're re really in the same page. All right, now we're going to talk about project panel so this is located project panel is located in the left corner of the application on the editing workspace as you can see it here now right now I am on the uh, icon view that's why it's kind of bigger and let's go to the list view all right so you can see it cool so inside of the project panel we have bins all right bins acts like a folder so if we go inside, we can browse all of our files inside of the folder. So we go to assets, we go to video, we can see all of our footage or files inside of this folder. It's the bins, or this one is a bin, it acts like a folder. All right, so to manage bins, or just to give you an idea, we can create bin by right click and then click a new bin. And then once we have, we can just rename it, uh, test. Uh, you can copy this. You can copy this or drag it inside of the folder inside of the assets as you can see it, it goes there so you can copy bins inside of inside of bins all right that's how you manage it so right now you're just gonna click uh right now we're gonna delete this delete okay right, it's up to you uh, how you can organize your project panels uh for your convenience or you want to organize it you can just copy you know, create a folder uh you can click a new bin to create a folder and then inside of the bin you can create another folder like audio like in my uh, in my case now uh as you can see it's kind of small all right let's try to make it bigger to make it a little bit taller we can just drag this uh blue box uh try to uh drag it uh, upward and uh, if you want to make it wider try to drag this line the vertical line drag it to the right to make it larger all right now to get a, a list view or uh, we can click on this this is the list view icon where you click on that you will see this uh, uh, a list of your files or your footage so let's go back all right, let's go to list view so that you can see audio, photo, video. Uh, that's inside of my assets folder. So if you go to inside of a assets folder, once you click on this uh, little triangle, you will see what is inside of the folder. So in assets folder, we have audio, photo, and video. All right, now let's try to view footage inside of the project panel. So how how can we do that? So to do that, we need to change first our view to thumbnail view. So click on switch to the current view, uh, switch to icon view. All right, so it will uh, make it a little bit larger. Now uh, we go to click on, uh, all right, let's open assets. All right, audio, photo, video, let's go to video. As you can see, it's on the list view, so let's change it to thumbnail view. There you go. Now, to preview your files without opening it into the source monitor, you could just hover your mouse from uh, from the beginning until to the uh, end. So as you can see, I'm not clicking anything. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just moving my mouse. I'm just hovering my mouse on the uh, thumbnail of the video. And as you can see, there's a there's a black, uh, tiny block here. There's a tiny symbol here that, you know, indicating that you are playing that part of the clip. All right. As you can see, if you play this one, all right, I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very small. All right. So if you go along, uh, if you go to this footage and you just scroll, you just 
hover your mouse i'm not clicking anything it gives you the preview of the of the uh, clip all right it makes you all right so there's a quick a uh, way to glance what is that um what is that f uh, what is that clip all about all right so if you want to see a quick details of the clip, like the frame rate or something like that, uh, we can, we need to go to the uh, uh, we need to go to the list view. All right. So in list view, there's some details here on the right side. Uh, let's try to make it a little bit larger. All right, there. Okay. Now, so uh, so you can see there's a frame rate, media start, and media end. Now to organize or to cut or to customize these information you can just right click on this the empty space on the name right click on that and click on metadata display and then we are on the premiere pro project metadata so right click on this little triangle and then as you can see you can check the box of the uh, properties or information that you want to show up in your um in your project panel so frame rates currently check all right, if I uncheck it, the frame rate will be gone on the project panel. So let's click on check it to make sure that the frame rate is in there. Now, uh, it is useful that if you have the frame rate, say for example, you want to make a slow motion, and you can easily see if the footage was shot on 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second or more. If you want to uh, have a slow motion, a smooth slow motion on 60 frames per second, and you can just, since your timeline here or your panel here was on um, sequence, uh, sequence settings was on 30 or 24 frames per second, you can uh, slow down 50%. You can slow it down for 50% to make it slow motion, all right? So just in case that maybe you're just wondering what is the purpose of this frame rate, all right? All right, and lastly, all right, you can use the search uh, function inside of the project panel. There's a search icon here where you can search your footage like that. And so we go to assets folder, we go to video, and then we can search for uh, sunset. So you can see it's giving me the uh, the footage, all right, and the search results of the search icon here, all right. So that's it. So that's um, all right. So good job on completing this video, and now you know how to use Project Panel inside to organize your files or footage. Well, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.